Hi, I'm the Casual Spaceman and welcome to my channel. You know, every now and again you come across um, a Flat Earthers channel name that speaks volumes about irony. Yeah, and no exception to that rule is, I think many of you heard of him, is why you are an idiot. Yes, he comes from the giant magic tree fame called Tepple or Tupul or whatever it is. Anyway, let's find out. Cue the music. So what's my beef with why you are an idiot? Well, I don't have any beef with him as such, but only with what he actually said. I happened to go on to listen to uh, Planner Walk's open debate forum last week, and why you are an idiot appeared under the Discord name as Skeptic. There was a lot of discussions going on, and then it ended up talking about the moon. And he showed a video of Red Reddick's uh, video of the ISS transitioning in front of the moon, talked about that, a lot of things going backwards and forwards uh, and telling him that he got his measurements wrong. But then he also showed a video of something transitioning in front of the moon, something else on somebody else's video, which looked a little bit like uh, a balloon or some balloons. And in fact, to some of us on, the, on that discussion, it looked like actually some children's balloons that have transitioned between the camera and the moon. That's what it looked like. But then he went on to claim that the moon has its own light source and not only that the moon must be much much closer because whatever it was those balloons was casting a shadow on the moon he then went also to claim that yes you can cast a shadow on a light source well that might be true if you had a really strong light source and another really weak light source you might be able to do that but when you're claiming that something the size of the moon has its own light source and you're casting a shadow from a balloon from a long, long, long way away, it kind of goes a little bit against reality, I think. So I couldn't let that lie and I couldn't let it go unchallenged. So we had a bit of a discussion on Discord after the show and this is how it went on. I couldn't let it get away with this, so I went straight in with my challenge. Come to my channel and prove you can cast a shadow on a light source. 45 minute debate. Casual spaceman, grab your phone, turn it on, put your hand nice and close and it will cast a shadow, lol. It's not hard, lol. I did, and that is not a shadow, that's a silhouette. Come to my channel and prove it live. Whatever you want to call it, you can see the shadowy figure passing by the phone. Anyone can do this. Okay. Let's try it, shall we? Okay, why well, you're an idiot, or sceptic, whatever you call. There's my hand in front of my phone. Where's the shadow? Hand in front of the phone. Where's the shadow? Hand in front of the phone. Where's the shadow? My softbox light. Silhouette, hand in front of the light source. Where's the shadow? Hand in front of the light source. Where's the shadow? Okay, while well, you're an idiot, here's one light source. And here's another light source. My hand in front of the light source. Silhouette. Where's the shadow? Silhouette. Where's the shadow? Can you see the shadow? I can't. Silhouette. No shadow. I feel a little bit embarrassed by doing something like this because it's not exactly scientific, is it? But Sometimes you've just got to point out the obvious to the Flat Earthers. And you'll understand why, as the conversation on Discord went on, because he just won't accept that there was a difference between a shadow and a silhouette. And he just wouldn't accept my challenge to come to my channel and prove that you can cast a shadow on a light source. And he uses an excuse. You'll see what it is in a minute. 
I asked her several times in the Discord chat at that time. Come to my channel and prove that you can cast a shadow on a light source. I asked her several times, maybe three or four times, and mostly he kept ignoring me. But eventually he replied with... Are you sure you want to debate me? Lol. You saw what I did here and they struggled to answer questions. Firstly, he's deluded. Nobody struggled to answer his questions. What actually happened was he struggled to answer all our questions about the flat earth and shadows and the moon. So I replied with, oh yes, I want you to come to my channel and prove that you can cast a shadow on a light source 100%. Anyway, this went backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards all the time. And he did actually say, I will only have a debate with you unless I can debate religion. So I pushed him a little bit further. So I said, I want you to come to my channel and prove that you can cast a shadow on a light source. That's it. I'm not interested in religion. Do you agree? Yes or no? Casual spaceman. Well, guess what? You believe in a religion, so I want a religious debate. And yes, it is not hard to grab your phone, turn it on, get it nice and close, and cast a shadow on it. So this is the point where I'll actually try to figure out whether he knows what the difference is between a shadow and a silhouette. So I kept challenging on it, but all he just do, he just kept replying with what you see on the screen here. And also, as you can see, he doesn't believe in definition. He only believes in physical evidence. And again, I'm still challenging to come to my channel, but he still refuses because he wants a religious debate. And the reason why he wants a religious debate is because he knows I'm an atheist and I wouldn't allow religion on my channel. Well, things have changed. Because, while you're an idiot, I hope you're watching this, but I've actually found somebody who's willing to have a religious debate with you on my channel. So what we can do is, you and I can have a discussion for half an hour, 45 minutes, and we can talk about your casting a shadow and a light source and we can talk about the moon and we could talk about all those things if you wish for about 45 minutes and then the other guy can take over and you can have your religious debate so now you've got no excuse so come to my channel prove you can cast a shadow and a light source and we can talk about those other things and there's my challenge because you've no excuse now so i've got one other thing to ask you again what's the difference between a shadow and a silhouette and I want everybody that's watching this video, whenever you come across him in any debate or anything on social media or on chat or anything like that, is asking that question. What's the difference between a shadow and a silhouette? Because clearly he doesn't understand the difference. Well, I think that's enough stupid for one day. So that only leaves me to say thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video, please like below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon, and you'll be notified uh, when I upload more videos. Also as well, uh, I'm actually appearing, I'm trying to grow my channel as much as possible, and I want to actually make this as my living. Um, so I really would like you, if you can consider becoming a patron, any amount, I'll put the link in the description below, and any amount will help me, my channel to grow. So that only leaves me to say, thanks again for watching, and science is truth.